Italian Grand Prix. It's full of Trifosi fans for the Ferraris, beautiful food, and a lot of history. Monza, 5.8 kilometres, 53 laps. In all, 307 kilometres. Four high-speed stretches, two slow turns. Two ideal spots for overtaking. Top speed, 351 kilometres now. OK, here we are at Monza, the famous Italian Grand Prix in the Red Bull simulator. It's always a special place to go to Monza. We break very, very hard into the first chicane, which is obviously an ideal point for, for overtaking as well. Very tight chicane, important to get a, a nice clean exit out of there. This is where you need a very powerful engine and also good aerodynamics for the top speed. And then we come to the Degna chicane, which uh, you see a lot of spectators here, but also it's a very important chicane on the lap where you're braking very, very hard, jumping the curbs as best you can to carry the speed through the chicane. And then you come to a beautiful part of the circuit because there's lots of trees overhanging the track and sometimes you can also smell a little bit of a barbecue on the inside with the Italians cooking up their, uh, their food. And then the second Lesmo, very important corner to get a good exit there onto another long straight. And we're braking very hard for the Ascari chicane. It's important to get a good rhythm through here. Quite a quick part of the chicane on the exit there now, using all of the road. And then we're heading back now towards the finish of the lap behind the pits, another long, fast straight. Again, you're braking very, very hard for this first part of Parabolica, coasting the car into the corner. It's a longer corner than you think. And then you see the edge of the track and you slowly squeeze the power open get a beautiful exit. That is a full lap of the Italian Grand Prix.